In this video, I will show you what is statement, negate a statement, compound statement, and implication. A statement is a sentence of which the truth value can be determined that is either true or false, but not false. Sha'alam is capital of Slangor. This one we can determine either true or false. So this is a statement. Get out. This is a command, so not a statement. Why Mimi angry? This is a question, so not a statement also. Conclusion is question, exclamation and command sentences are not statement. A statement is sentence that we can determine either true or false. Question number one. Determine whether each sentence below is a statement or not a statement. Please come in. This is a command. So, not a statement. 2 plus 5 equals 8. So, we can determine true or false. So, this is a statement. S plus 2. We cannot determine true or false. So, this is not a statement. S plus S equals 2S. So, we can determine true or false. So, this is a statement. Is 2 plus 5 equals add? This is a question, not a statement. S plus 3 greater than S minus add. We, we can determine true or false. So, this is a statement. Next question. Determine whether the following mathematics statements are true or false. Explain if the statement is false. A. All prime numbers are odd numbers. This is a false statement because 2 is prime number but number 2 is an even number. B. All regular polygons have equal size. Yes, this is true statement. After we learn what is statement, now we learn negate a statement. We use the word no or not to negate a statement. The negation of statement P is written as tilde P. The symbol tilde denotes not. Given a statement P, the sentence tilde P is read not P. Question number three. Form a negation tilde P for each of the following statement P by using the word no or not. A. 24 is multiple of 9. So negation is 24 is not a multiple of 9. B. All regular polygons have equal size. Negation is not all regular polygons have equal size. Now we are going to learn what is compound statement. A compound statement is a combination of two or more statements by using the word and or or. Question number four. Combine the following statement P and Q by using the words and or. Oh. So A, we have two sentences. A pentagon has five sides. A heptagon has seven sides. To form a compound statement, we just copy down two sentences and at the middle we put N. So the first one, a pentagon has five sides and a heptagon has seven sides. Same as or. At the middle, we change to or. So the answer is a pentagon has five sides or a heptagon has seven sides. After we learn what is compound statement, now let us learn how to determine the truth value of a compound statement. Let's say Mimi is from 4J, Aina 4K student, Julia is 4J student, Jonathan is 4K student. First sentence. 
Mimi and Julia are 4J students. Mimi from 4J. Julia also from 4J. So, this is true. This also true. So, this compound statement is a true statement. Next sentence. Mimi and Aina are 4J students. Mimi is from 4J. Aina is from 4K. So this is true, this is false. So this compound statement is a false statement. Yes, Mimi or Jonathan are 4J student. Mimi is 4J student. Jonathan is 4K student. Mimi is 4J is true. Jonathan is 4K student. This is false. But because the keyword is or, so it is not so particular. Either one of it true can form a true statement. Sentence number four. Mimi or Julia are 4K students. Mimi is from 4J. Julia also from 4J. So this is false. This one also false. So if both are false, this is a false statement. So let us look at this truth table. So from here we can see N very particular. You must have both information true, then only can form true statement. Or not so particular. So I want correct or both correct is okay. But if both, if both information false, it will form a false statement. Okay, to know further, let us do question number five. Determine the true values of the following compound segments. 48 is a multiple of 4 and a perfect square. So 48 is multiple of 4 is a true statement. And 48 is a perfect square, not true. So this is false. And the keyword is N. So just now I mentioned already N very particular. Both statement must true only can form a true statement. So this is a false statement. B. At all, 11 is an even number. Now, at is an even number. 11 not an even number, but because the keyword is or, or not so particular. So either one true can form a true statement. Now we are going to learn what is implication. A statement, if P, then Q is known as an implication where P is denoted as the antecedent. Q is denoted as the consequence. Okay, antecedent is referred to event. Consequence refer to happening as a result of something. So question number six, form an implication if P then Q with the given antecedent and consequence. Antecedent is H is divisible by six. Consequence, H is multiple of 6. So the keyword is if P then Q. So if H is divisible by 6, then H is a multiple of 6. Question number 7. Determine the antecedent and consequence for the following implication if P then Q. If s equals 3, then s cubed equals 27. So the first one is antecedent. Antecedent is s minus 3. Consequence is s cubed equals 27. So normally you see the letter here. A comes first followed by C. So the first information is antecedent. The second information is consequence. 
An implication P if and only if Q consists of the following two implications. If P, then Q. If Q, then P. Okay, question number eight. Write down two implications based on the following statement. 2s plus 1 greater than 9 if and only if s greater than 4. So first thing I will do is I cancel if and only if. So we have two information here. Before if and only if and after if and only if. So how to write the implication? The first one, this one is P. This is Q. So we just follow if P then Q. So implication, implication 1 is if 2s plus 1 greater than 9, then s greater than 4. So the keyword is if, then. So second implication, actually, let's write the q at the front and p at the back. So if s greater than 4, then 2s plus 1 greater than 9. Now we learn to form an implication P if and only if Q with the following implication. So implication 1, if K equals hash, then K minus hash equals 0. Implication 2, if K minus hash equals 0, then K equals hash. So from the first implication, we know this is P, this is Q. So we just fill in P and Q and at the middle we write if and only if. So the solution is A equals hash if and only if K minus hash equals 0. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for more.